In this video, we will discuss the essential but often overlooked aspect of managing Proxmox. How to backup your Proxmox host. While many focus on backing up virtual machines and containers, it's just as important as ensuring you have a reliable backup of your Proxmox host itself. This includes your configurations, network settings, customizations, and losing these could mean hours of even days of manual recovery. The Proxmox host stores your cluster or single node configurations, including virtual machine definitions, LXE definitions, network configurations, storage settings, and even the user configuration, firewall setting, firewall rules, and so on. A backup ensures that you can quickly restore your Proxmox environment if the hardware fails or even system gets corrupted. The most important part of backing up Proxmox host is saving the HCPVE directory. So if I show you here in the Proxmox virtual environment, right now I have TrueNAS which is connected and TrueNAS is having multiple folders here. Of course, it is backing up the virtual machines and containers. On my Proxmox node, of course, this TrueNAS is already mounted. I can go into Proxmox tutorial, which is my node. And in that node, I will go to shell. And in shell, I will locate the mount path for the TrueNAS. So it is usually mounted at cd space slash mnt. So this is mount path. And in mount path, it will be PVE. So I will look for PVE. And in PVE, you can see here, there is TrueNAS. So if I search for TrueNAS, so this TrueNAS has the folders. If I check list of folders, so you can see here, these are list of folders. I earlier created a folder called backup. Let me see what is there inside backups. So backups folder is empty. So suppose I will create a new directory here inside TrueNAS, which will be mkdir. And I will make this directory as tutorial. So now if I see that tutorial folder, you can see here tutorial folder is empty. I will just touch a file here, test dot text you can see here there is a file here inside the tutorial path of course this is true nas it means that uh, this is a nas storage of course i'm not backing up anything on proxmox then there will be no point of backing up here so we need to store the backup files from my proxmox to this one to this folder which is tutorial inside true nas so this is my path here I can copy this path for the time being. Let me copy this just to do it step by step. So this is the path where I want the files to be stored. So backup to. So we will be backing, backing up here. And what is important folder here? So the important folder that we have, cd space slash hc, in this particular folder, we will have a folder called pve. pve has all your configurations. So let me show you that list of files. You will see here authentication keys are there and then you have the high availability configuration is there firewall configuration is there lxc configuration is there suppose if i look for the storage cfgs nano storage dot cfg so all the storage related information is here you can see mount data store proxmox nfs storage is there lvm thin is there this is the configuration and then if we look for the configuration for the lxc so if we see cd space lxc and all the LXC containers are here. So if I check for nano, nano 100.conf, so configuration of this particular container is here. Of course, we are backing up containers already, but when we restore, when we want to restore, we want to make sure that if any configuration was changed, that configuration also comes with this. So as I mentioned that I will be copying this particular path, which is etc. PVE. This is the folder that I need to make the backup of backup of this path and backup to here in tutorial. So this is the most important path here. Now what I need to do if I just go to my root. So I will be compressing this file. If I write a command called tarczvf and here it will be slash path where I want to store it. So I will be storing it to this particular path. And inside this, I will do the backup. So I will name it backup or PVE dash backup. And the backup will be dash. I will put the dollar sign, which means that it will take the date and time. So I will do date space plus percentage F. 
and then the file name will be dot tar dot gz and from where i will take the backup i will do slash hc slash pve i will be providing all the details of this uh, in the description so link is provided there so you can look for these commands here so i will be compressing the file with this particular command so where i will be compressing i will be compressing it to uh, mount path of pve true nas into the tutorial and i will create a new file every time it takes the backup with the pve dash backup dash the date it will be taking current date enter here now you can see here that it has already taken the backup let me go to now the path so if i go to cd space mnt cd space pve and here i have true nas cd space true nas and in true nas cd space true nas and in TrueNAS, you can see here CD space tutorial. And in tutorial, there is a file called PVE backup GZ. But what I want is that this particular backup, of course, is taken manually one time. I want to add this command, which I created here. So you will see here, this is the command, which will be taking the backup every time it runs. So I want to automatically run this command. So I will copy this now. What will be the command? So this is the command which will be compressing everything in PVE and it will be creating the file here. So what we need to do now, I need to add this to Chrome tab because it will be created as a job. It will be running automatically. So let me add this into Chrome tab. To edit the Chrome tab, Chrome tab will automatically run. So I will do Chrome tab dash E. So you can see here, this particular file is running automatically to update my LXE containers. So I will be creating a new one if you want to know what is cron tab i have explained you all of that on my website here is the explanation so you will understand the time based job cron here so this way we can configure it for example if i want to run every day so i will do 0 space 0 space star space star space star so what it will do it will run every day by 12 am so then i can of course paste this the command that i have copied so this one is the command which it will be running every night. So every night by 12 o'clock, this particular command will be running, which will be saving the configuration with the date and time here. So this one, if I enter and if I do control X to exit, yes to save. Now my Chrome tab is saved. So this is my scheduler, which will automatically run by 12 o'clock. But suppose if I want to run this on after every two days, so I can for the day with the day column, I will just add slash two. So it will be running after every two days. Slash three means after every three days. And if I want to run after every hour, so I can do that as well. After every minute, I can do that as well. After every month, I can do that as well. So this is to save the configuration file. Of course, uh, right now, this is the tutorial. I don't want to enable this so i will just put a hash here and for the other one also i'll put the hash here because this is the tutorial so i'm not using this for production so here the cron tab will automatically run if you want to back up your proxmox using rsync i have provided the separate video for that so this video was to back up the important files which is pve of course there could be various other files also which you think that it should be stored so you can use this particular method and all the commands I have provided in the description. So you can use that. To summarize, this is the path which I want to take the backup of. And I want to backup it to the true NAS tutorial where the backup will be stored. And then using the command, I will be using this mount path with the file name of PVE backup and the date. And it will be tar gz slash etc slash PVE. So etc PVE or etc PVE will be backed up entirely this pve folder will be entirely backed up to this particular path and depending upon when you want to back up so i can clone tab dash e so here is the backup file every day so here you can see so zero minutes of 12 power which means that 12 am every day every day of week every month of day and every month this particular command will automatically run 
So if this command will automatically run, it will keep on backing up uh, the PVE folder from HC to the true NAS tutorial folder. So you can choose your required folder and you can keep the backup of your Proxmox virtual environment. The backup is nothing without testing it. By regularly backing up your Proxmox host configuration, custom data and system, you can ensure the smooth recovery in case of any disaster.